Warning, some viewers may find the following disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. 10 years ago, I built a PC and then gave it away to my friend. These disturbing pictures you see are the unfortunate result of negligence. Even my pre-built Alienware was subject to the same abuse. Okay, so all jokes aside, I want to answer a question in this video. Is it worth the extreme effort to clean the dust in your PC? And more specifically, if you have a liquid AIO cooling solution, such as the one in my Dell Alienware PC, is it worth cleaning that too? What kind of performance improvements will you get if you clean the radiator? Will there be better thermals? Will it be quieter? Will your CPU run cooler? Well, let's find out in this video. Dust can reduce the effectiveness of your fan blowing on the radiator since dust can act as an insulator and just trap all the heat inside. Now, to what extent does dust actually affect performance? Well, we're gonna talk about that later in this video. So in the following example, you can see my Dell Alienware PC, the Aurora R7, and you can see how much dust has accumulated just for about two to three years. So this is very moderate PC usage. It wasn't on all the time. And if you look at it, it doesn't look that bad. Now, of course, the amount of dust that gets into your PC really depends on your environment. So do you have a lot of pets? Do you live in a dusty environment? And as you can see in my Alienware, there's just a lot of plastic casing and you know it was a really good inhibitor for airflow for better or worse, but it also definitely stopped a lot of dust from coming in. So another factor that you wanna weigh in is your dust filters. How much dust can you filter out? Which could obviously affect your airflow and therefore your temperatures. Anyways, there's a delicate balance between the two. So let's talk about the cleaning process. Now, this may be really obvious, but I wanna mention a couple important tools that would make the whole dust cleaning process a lot easier. The most obvious item you're gonna need is a can of compressed air or some kind of high pressure air duster. Now you can go on Amazon and buy these very expensive electric dusters. And you know, personally for me, I'm very hesitant to use them because they're very expensive. They're quite a big investment. And everywhere I read on Amazon, there's reviews indicating that they're just not as powerful as compressed air. So let me know in the comment section if you had good luck with them. The next item on the list you probably want to get is a vacuum, your standard household vacuum. Now this is not foolproof, but it's at least some attempt to try to capture as much of the dust that gets blown out explosively from your radiators. I'm using the Tineco A11 Hero, which I did a whole separate video review. Obviously, if you can take this outside, and then blow the dust outside, that's gonna be a lot better. But in my case, it's it was the middle of winter and I couldn't just you know take this outside. And, and I live in an apartment, so it just makes it really difficult. Now, I wanna make it very clear. The point of the vacuum is to capture the dust that gets blown into the air as best as possible. Obviously, do it outside if you can. Now, please don't use the vacuum on their actual delicate components because I've been hearing a lot of news that if you use a vacuum, there is a potential to cause ele electrostatic damage to your components. Obviously it's very rare, but I just don't recommend, you know, sucking, trying to suck dust from your components. You know, that, that vacuum may cause some damage. The third item I highly recommend to do this dust operation is to have tweezers on hand. This is gonna be very, very helpful to extract those dust bunnies that get stuck or lodged in between fans or kind of deep into the motherboard. The last item I wanna mention is to have protective gear, namely earmuffs. Now, I know you may laugh at me, but trust me, Blowing compressed air can get really loud, and then running your vacuum too at the, at the highest level can also be very piercing to your ears, and you definitely wanna protect it. So wearing earmuffs is definitely a good idea. Now for the owners of the Alienware computers, they all have the same chassis, they all have a very similar design. And you might be wondering yourself, okay, if I have a liquid AI cooler, do I have to remove the entire enclosure? Do I have to remove the pump and all that stuff just to get access to the radiator? Because you know, the Dell case is very, very hard to get at. It's quite an ordeal to have to open it up and take everything apart and then reapply thermal paste and then reseat your AIO. And it's just a more risky operation just to do, you know, blow some dust. Now, thankfully, you don't have to do this. It is very easy to do this whole operation by just pointing the compressed air at the radiator and this will completely dislodge all the dust as you can see in this video, it's quite explosive. Now, despite how restrictive the Dell case is, plenty of dust was able to be dislodged and I'm very happy about this. Now, before you get into this, I wanna mention a couple of mistakes that people make. Number one, if you're blowing dust, it's definitely a good idea to do this outside as I mentioned many times before, but of course, you know, if you can't do that, 
point your vacuum towards the general direction of where the dust is being expelled from, or just get a friend to help you and try to suck as much of that dust because you don't want that dust to go into the environment and then kind of get sucked back into your computer. So for mistake number two to avoid, always hold the, com the can of compressed air in a horizontal position. Don't tilt it too much because then all that liquid's gonna fall out and then you might actually get that onto your parts, which could be damaging. So definitely hold it upright to avoid getting in liquid on your computer. The third thing that I really want you to kind of avoid, but this is a little bit more controversial, is whether or not it's safe to blow air directly onto your fans. There are a lot of people, there's a lot of big de debate on the web community whether it's okay to do this. A lot of people recommend to hold down onto the fans with tape or your fingers just to prevent the fans from spinning when you blow on them. So just be careful about that. I'd rather err on the side of caution and just hold them down so they don't spin too much when I blow them. And of course, if you have tweezers, it's gonna be super helpful to kind of just get a cluster of dust from within the fan blades so that, you know, it's kind of hard to reach inside. A lot of people said that if you blow onto the fans, it could cause a charge, which, you know, could blow out your motherboard, which is kind of seems ridiculous, or it could affect the ball bearings in your fan. So I'm not sure about this, but I'd rather, I don't mind just holding down the fans when I blow on them. So let's continue with my cleaning process. As you can see in this video here, the tweezers have become very clutch in this situation. Very, very helpful. I was able to extract all that cluster of dust. And this was really difficult to get, especially in between the fan blades. So it was very helpful to have the, the, tw the tweezers. So let's look at the before and after of my radiator for my liquid AIO. As you can see in the before picture, there's just a ton of dust and it looks awful, but I was actually able to get it all clean. The best part about this procedure is that I did not have to remove the entire liquid AIO. I didn't have to unscrew the radiator. And this makes this whole operation less risky and a lot easier to do so that you do it more frequently. I also took the time to blow out the dust in other parts of my computer, other components like the power supply, motherboard, graphics card, of course, and just the case in general. Another really good tip is to raise the computer to a higher position. This makes it so much easier to spray inside the computer and also this prevents any liquid from spilling out when you spray with the compressed air. Okay, so we pretty much covered the cleaning process. Pretty easy, just make sure you have those tools on hand. So let's answer the question, was all this effort really worth it? How much more improvement, how much better are my thermals going to be? That's when I run this really intense Cinebench R23 benchmark. So I ran the benchmark in a controlled environment and I noticed that there was around a one to four degree performance improvement. Now this is a very subjective matter. Is it worth once a year, maybe 30 minutes of your time to do this little dust, dust operation to get maybe one to four performance improvement? Personally for myself, I was pretty happy with the results. Paying for like a one to four Celsius improvement is almost like upgrading your cooler. So I definitely recommend doing this at least once a year. Maybe more if you kind of have run their computer on 24 seven, maybe you're crypto mining and you live in a very dusty environment. But I actually had this for about two to three years. So I'm really impressed with how much how much you can operate without with all that dust. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you have an Alienware and you blew out your radiator for your liquid AIO, please let me know in the comment section if you had a major improvement in your CPU thermals. Maybe your fan can run at a much lower RPM and therefore be more quiet. Or maybe you just have better boost performance when you are maybe rendering out stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.